shape and size. Amoeba proteus is an unicellular microscopic animal cuny and measures about 250 to 600 microns in maximum diameter. The larger amoeba proteus is just visible as a whitish spot by naked eye. Under the microscope, it appears as an irregular, colorless and translucent mass of protoplasm. It constantly changing its shape, producing and withdrawing finger-like processes called pseudopodia. When it withdraws all its pseudopodia, it becomes spherical in shape. Far from being shapeless, it has definite anterior and posterior ends. At the anterior end, the animal puts out pseudopodia, while the posterior end it marked by a wrinkled region called uroid. Pseudopodia Pseudopodia is derived from two words. Pseudo means poles and podium means foot. These are irregular blunt processes of the cell body. They are also called poles feet. These are of variable size and are capable of project out or withdraw, often with considerable speed. These are formed as a result of liquefaction and flowing forward of the cytoplasm. As many pseudopodia are formed simultaneously, amoeba proteus is called polypodial species. If pseudopodia are large and broad with rounded tips, such pseudopodia are called lobopodia. Plasmalemma Amoeba devoid of pellicle or cell wall. The body is covered by a very thin, delicate plasma membrane called plasmalemma. This membrane is selectively permeable. As unusual feature associated with plasma lemma is the presence of numerous fine ridge-like extensions on its outer surface. It believes that these have adhesive properties and serve to bind the animalculi to substratum. Cytoplasm Within the plasma lemma, the dense cytoplasm containing several organelles, it is differentiated into two distinct zones, an outer ectoplasm and an inner endoplasm. Ectoplasm Lying at immediate bennet of the plasma lemma, ectoplasm is thin, clear, and transparent. It is rather rigid, contractile, and under tension. It is most clearly visible at the tip of a pseudopodium called a hyaline cap. Endoplasm Completely surrounded by ectoplasm, the endoplasm forms the bulk of the animal. It is fluid-like, granular, and semi-transparent. As the ectoplasm is under tension, the endoplasm must also be under pressure of the ectoplasm. Endoplasmic organelles Under light microscope, a number of organelles are visible. They are found within the endoplasm. These organelles include the nucleus, contractile vacuole, food vacuoles, 
water globules and other organelles. Nucleus In amoeba proteus, nucleus is a large flattened discoidal and slightly biconcave. It is present in the endoplasm. The nucleus is difficult to see in a living animal. The nucleus is granular. It is bounded by a thin nuclear membrane which is double and intercepted by pores. The nucleoplasm is a clear achromatic substance with scattered refringent chromatin granules. A few nucleoli are seen in the nucleus of fixed and stained specimen. Contractile vacuole At its posterior end of the endoplasm, a single clear rounded and pulsating contractile vacuole filled with a thin fluid and enclosed by a unit membrane. Surrounding this membrane is a region containing many tiny feeder vacuoles and mitochondria. It helps in the osmoregulatory and excretory activities of the animal. Food vacuoles A number of spherical small and large bodies containing water and food in various phases of digestion found in the ectoplasm. These are formed when amoeba engulf food with a drop of water. Digestion takes place inside these food vacuoles. They disappear with the ejection of non-digestible food from the body. Water globules These are several small and spherical vacuoles filled with a colorless fluid. Some other organelles like endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes, Golgi bodies, mitochondria, and lysosomes are also found in the endoplasm of amoeba proteus.